Hi, babe. Welcome back to another day of uh, basically sanding. Um, so you can see me in the last video, I was priming, and then we were working on the cab. I'm um, back today on the bed uh, for the fact that uh, we're gonna sand down our primer really quick. And then we're gonna see basically how far we get to see if uh, we can start scuffing the panel, wet sanding it. Like I said, we're only painting the gray. Um, we're not painting the black, so we're actually just gonna start, uh, well, after we're done with everything, mask off the black. That way it'll be ready for paint. As well, let me turn the camera around. Uh, he want, actually wanted this painted as well. So I'm gonna start sanding this nice and smooth. Uh, no dents will be fixed on this. And I checked with the owner. There's actually a little bow that we have to fix as well. Um, but he just wants this to make this, uh, basically make it look a little bit nicer than how it looks now. <coughs> so I got everything all taped off. Um, when I go to lay down my paper, this will be a brand new piece of tape that I'll lay down. But as of right now, that's only going to be basically my, uh, my safety tape. So that way I don't sand onto the black and you won't have to clear that black. But the only thing we have with this is that we'll have to repaint the uh, gas lid for the fact that uh, all this is going to get repainted. And when we painted this, my blend only went to about right here. We didn't touch this uh, gas lid, but since we're gonna be painting basically all the way to the edge on this side, I have to paint this gray, because and if I don't, you're definitely gonna see a uh, different color gray than what I have. So I'll probably put you, uh, I'll probably just skip to the next scene for this, for this video of me just uh, sanding down the primer. I'm gonna be sanding it with uh, 320 and then finish it off with 400. And then I'm gonna sand down my clear with 600. And then after that, we should be ready to go. Uh, so I don't know if I'll get done uh, with the sanding the clear today, but if we do, then I, if we don't, then I'll just push it on till tomorrow or the next day. But I plan on painting it basically this weekend. So it's not too bad. It's not the whole bed this time. It's not a two-tone, it's just one color. So it should be uh, go a lot smoother and be a lot faster. So cut you off to the next scene. You'll probably see me basically finish done sanding. So finally got all this sanded. I sanded it down to 180. I'm gonna probably go over that spot with 400, come out just a little bit, and then the rest of it will get sanded down with 800, I believe. <clears throat> but a lot of you are asking this question: If we're gonna paint the tailgate, the answer is no, for the fact that. This color is the same color that's in that can over there. So, uh, and it's gonna match no matter if it's a butt match or whatnot. So um, that's gonna save us a lot of time. But as of this side, like I said, the whole side is gonna get painted. There was a lot more work on this side just because of that big dent right there. And you can see in the video where I was telling you that he didn't wanna fix his dent. Well, you know, uh, when the product is so good, uh, you just got to fix it so like I said I'm probably gonna hurry up and find a block and a hammer bang that out really quick so that way it's a little bit straight and then if I can come back tomorrow I'll probably sand this and then start wet sanding that so let me uh, let me go find the tools really quick and I'll come back all right let me show you I use this rubber hammer right here and this uh, dead blow hammer is what they call that one. As you can see, it's a little bit straight, still kind of a little bit bow, but that's the best as we can get it. So the way I did it was there was more of a kink right here. So I took that rubber hammer right here and then I did that dead blow hammer and banged that rubber hammer and that's what's gonna help it kind of push itself back. The best way to fix this it's basically to replace it, but it's gonna take a lot of work just to do that. So the next best thing is to kind of make it so it's, it's not as bad as it was before, basically. But like I said, it turned out way better than I thought. There's still that little bit of kink right here, but like I said, it's the best that it's gonna get. And it's gonna turn out super nice once it's all painted. So, um, this isn't really a concern to make it perfect 
for the fact that they're gonna be staying basically right here. So you won't really see that anyways. And by the time you come over here, you're gonna see the cab basically. So that's gonna keep their eyes off this back panel right here. So just little tricks just to hide basically minor details. Like I said, if this was basically a show truck that we were building, yes, of course, I would tell them to replace the whole entire bed for the fact that there's too much, there was too much damage for it to be fixed, especially this corner right here. But like I said, I mean, it came out pretty good, better than I expected. So everything's coming together, you guys, but I'm done for the day. I'm gonna head out, go chill with my wife, and I'll probably come back tomorrow and start sanding down, uh, wet sanding down the uh, clear and the rest of the primer, make it feather edge my, uh, feather my edges just a little bit, and we'll go from there. So other than that, you guys, I'll probably just make this one video, so I'll see you in the next scene, all right? This next scene, as you guys haven't noticed, it's the next day, but, I'm almost done with this side right here. Got most of it all sanded down. And I'm about, to, I'm working on my other side as well. We'll probably be almost done with this. But I have to head out back to Idaho Falls to go look at a car that a guy wants me to paint or just give him a quote, basically, of how much it's gonna cost to paint a full on car. So uh, I probably won't get back to this until tomorrow. So, I mean, for you, for me, it's uh, tomorrow, but for you, it'll just be the next scene. So uh, probably the next scene that you guys see, we'll have it all completely uh, sanded down, retaped, and probably masked up. We'll probably leave the heater on for at least the next two days, paint this thing on Saturday. If not, we'll probably paint it on Sunday. That way we can have it cure Monday and Tuesday and go from there. So uh, let me skip you off basically the next scene and we'll go from there. It's another day. And as you can see, we're working on the bed. And, oh, almost dropped the camera. We got it all done, all scuffed. This is brand new tape that I just barely laid down. So what's coming next is masking and then paint. So this is probably where this video is gonna end. Um, and then the next video, you're just gonna see me masking and paint it. So actually everything came out pretty good explain this piece a little bit you can kind of see i went up just a tad bit above that little line right there that i had uh, and the reason for that is so we can kind of get a good uh stick with our clear and that way we can kind of go a little bit above the line so that way our paint doesn't peel over time um like i said there is going to be a pinstripe that covers that whole line so it's not going to really matter if this is off just by a tad bit so yeah but other than that body work turned out great uh, primer turned out really good as well so that's gonna be it you guys like I said I'm gonna go home I'm gonna hang out with my wife uh, for the rest of the night so till next time you guys see you in the next video